What's up guys, Nice Circus here coming at you again with another JavaScript video. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to create the most simple JavaScript game possible. You know when you try to use a website but your internet's not connected and you start playing that game with the dinosaur and the cactuses where you just jump over the cactuses? I'm going to be showing you how to create that game only using HTML divs. It's very simple, it uses like 10 lines of JavaScript, so I think this is a good tutorial for people who are trying to get into JavaScript game development. Even if you've never really coded before, you can follow along and create something pretty cool. So I don't really have anything else to say other than leave a like on this video. Let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so we just start with a blank text editor here. I'm just going to create our three files. And so we go to our index file and we just create a basic HTML layout. And then link our style sheet. And link our JavaScript file. Alright, now that all three of our files are linked together, we're ready to start. So on our HTML page, we're just going to start by creating three divs. The first div is just going to be our game, so it's going to be the whole entire game. Everything's going to be inside of this div. And then we need two divs, our character and the block. So we'll create our character and the block. And that's it for the HTML. Really simple. So now we go to our style file. I'm just going to start by creating some basic styling. Basically every single time I create a new CSS file, I add these styles just to get rid of the basic browser padding and margins. It's a lot nicer just to start from zero. So we're going to start with the game div, and we're just going to add some styles so that we can see it. Alright, and now when I load up our file, we can see our black box that we created. Now I'm going to create our character. Now our character is there, but it's at the top. We want it to be at the bottom of the box. So we're just going to give it a position relative. So we can move it and then give it a top 150 because the box is 200 pixels, our character is 50 pixels, so we need to put it down 150 so that it's at the very bottom. Alright, now we can move on to our block. And we're going to do the same thing just to push it down and go all the way to the right. Alright, so now our block's in the correct position, our character is in the correct position, and now we basically just want our block to slide towards our character, so we need to create an animation. And then add our animation to the block. So now we have our animation, but it's only running once, so I'm just going to add infinite to it, and now it'll just keep running over and over. And I'm going to add linear just so it goes evenly and doesn't like zip across, you know. So now that we have our block going across, we also want to create an animation for our character to jump. So we're going to create another keyframes jump. Something like that where at 50% it goes up to there and then goes back to where it was. So it basically just jumps. From trial and error, I know that this would look a lot better if I just do it with 30 and 70. So that it jumps up, hovers a little bit, and then goes down because if it just goes up and down doesn't really work long enough for the game, so you want it to jump, stay for a little bit, and then come down. So now I'm going to add the animation to our character, and so our character is now jumping. I'm actually going to change that to 500 milliseconds, and that looks pretty good. And so now that our character is jumping, we don't want it to just constantly be jumping, we want it to jump when we call a JavaScript function. So what I'm going to do is create a new class called animate. And all that class does is add the animation jump. So I'm going to run a JavaScript function that adds that class to the character so that it jumps. And then it removes that class so it stops. And so I don't want it to be infinite, actually. So now I can go to our JavaScript file and just create two variables so we can access our character and block. Now we're going to create our function jump. So we'll just access our character, grab its class list, and add to it animate. And so we want to run this function, and it's actually not going to run yet, so we need to go back to our index, just go up to the HTML and add an onClick. We could also use an event listener. I just prefer to use onClicks, honestly. It makes a lot of sense. So now, if we go to our game, we should be able to click, and our character jumps. The problem is, I clicked, it added the animation, the animation ran once, I can't re-add the same class twice, so what I need to do is remove the class once we're done running the animation. So in here I'm going to set an interval, and I'm going to run a function, and I'm going to do it after 500 milliseconds, because that's how long the animation takes, so after 500 milliseconds the animation's done, remove the animation class. So we do that the exact same way as we add the class, except for we just change add to remove. Alright, so we grab the character, 
And so now we can jump and jump again and jump again and jump again and jump and jump and jump. The problem is if we spam it and jump, 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 it'll just keep adding the class over and over again. So we only want to add the class animate if it hasn't already been added. All right, so now we have our character jumping up and down. All we have to do is add the hit detection to detect if they're on top of each other. If they are, then that means you lose, right? So we're going to create a function that runs every 10 milliseconds, and it just checks whether or not you've lost or not. All right, so the first thing that we want to do inside this function is get the top position of the character and the left position of the block. So we get the top position of the character by doing this. All right, and so we're just going to set that to the variable character top. That's not spelled right. And we're actually going to parse it as an int. And that's because what was there before would return the top position with px at the end, and we only want the number, so we parse it to an int. And so that's going to return the top position of the character. If you don't totally understand what that's doing, basically the top position of the character right now is at 150, and then when I click it, it goes up to 100, and then it goes back to 50, and so every single time it evaluates this function, it, the top position will be a little bit higher, and then go back and go up and then down. So basically we're calculating the top position, and then we're gonna calculate the left position of the block, and then compare them against each other to see if they're inside of each other, and that means they're hitting each other. So we'll just copy this a second time, and change character top to block left and then change what we're getting the style of to the block and change the property that we're getting to left and so now we want to create an if statement something like this so we go if block left if block left is less than 20 meaning it's on this side of the red and we can do and and block left is greater than zero so it's in between zero and 20 which the left position 0 and 20 would be directly under the red character. So if those two conditions are met and the character top is greater than or equal to 130, meaning that they have jumped less than 20 pixels, so they haven't jumped over the entire block. So if all three of those conditions are met, then that means that the two blocks are hitting each other and that means you lose. So we'll just create a little alert that says you lose. We also just want to remove the animation for the block or else it's just gonna it's gonna keep going across and that's not what we want. So we're just gonna go block style animation equals none. And we'll actually just go style display equals none. And so you just don't see it anymore. And so now we can jump, jump, I'm not gonna jump, we lose. See? There you go. And then you can just click OK and nothing really happens. You have to reload and then you go again. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you gave it a try, then leave your link below and I'll check it out. I'd love to see it. If you're interested in more videos like this, then leave a comment down below and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.